This home is one of 13 locations raided early Tuesday morning by 130 law enforcement officers. And the man who lived here, they called Pudge. And they say he was the leader of a criminal drug trafficking organization. Helicopters flying around and, and there was SWAT and there was DEA here. They all had guns and yeah, it was pretty scary. No shots were fired and no one was injured in the raids. Juanita Brown shot this video. She lives a couple houses down from 41-year-old Reggie Ballantyne, the alleged leader of a drug distribution ring in Kokomo, allegedly supplied by a dealer in Macon, Georgia, 50-year-old Pierre Riley. We believe cases like this, cases like we just did in this community, will make this community safer. It will be safer. It is safer today than it was yesterday. These cases will result in less overdose deaths. 15 people, most from Kokomo, face federal drug charges. Operation Law and Order confiscated over 17 pounds of methamphetamine, over two pounds of cocaine, plus heroin, fentanyl, marijuana, $37,000 cash, and 24 guns. And for the people who think that just because we didn't knock on your door yesterday, we're not going to knock on your door today, tomorrow, next week, or next month, or next year. We're coming to get you. I'm glad they're cleaning up the neighborhood. All that's going to do is put the distribution and everything in somebody else's hand. Somebody else is going to take over the same thing because there's too much money in it. You know, they're not going to really solve any problem. What they have to do is get rid of the demand for it. The mayor says the investigation began about four months ago with a tip from a citizen. In Kokomo, I'm Rich Nye, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.